Hello. I return. Uh, again, this will be the continuation of my uh, 90s and 2000s schizoram. To abbreviate from last video, to anyone tuning in who watched that one, uh, I meant that I don't know what the Russians meant or thought of 9-11. Not the death of Dale Earnhardt. Let's just get that out of the way. Now, back to what I was going on about. The Russians in the 2000s had roughly entered a golden age. They had no real conflicts that they were fighting. You know, big conflicts. Of course, you had the insurgent action within Chechnya, of course. But, you know, that was here nor there. But the Russians were financially stable. To my knowledge, there was some sort of economic trouble, I believe, in 2005. But primarily after 2008, Russia went back to being pissed poor again. Um, they recovered in the 2010s, but that shit's boring. People remember that. The people who watch my stuff remember that. And honestly, I don't care about them. They can remember it later. Now, to America. America at this time uh, due to our involvement within Iraq and our utter failure as a nation to subdue and win the war in Iraq um, a lot of people lost faith within the government people started to see Iraq for what it was a war of uh, keeping control of the US dollar or keeping control of oil in reality, we went into Iraq to con to make sure that the U.S. dollar would still have a financial backing behind it, which would primarily be oil, because of you know OPEC using only on the USD, making it the only reason why the U.S. dollar is still around is because it's tied to oil. And Saddam started to sell in euros. We didn't like that, so we went in. Now, back to. Uh, now back to America, on the home front. America was in this relatively technologically advancing era. It's, the, the future seemed uncertain. No one really knew what was going to happen, but they knew that the technology would advance. Things were getting better. 9-11 had scarred the nation and still continues to do so more than 20 years later. Now, on to now the Americans after uh, after around like the first few weeks in Iraq once you know the standing army had been fucking demolished um, the American public was like all right cool job done no Dick Cheney realized he could make money off of this war therefore we stayed in and we still are in. He still makes money off of Halliburton. The little bastard. Now. On t now. As we progressed in. The threat of IEDs. Of insurgent warfare. Something we just were not ready to deal with. Our army was built to fight the Soviets. By now the Soviets had been gone for for nearly a decade. And yet we found ourselves in a war where we had to evolve mid-war. Think the MRAP, which wasn't mine resistant. Uh, but, yeah, Iraq was primarily a lost cause that then a few greedy politicians got their fingers into to gain money. Now, Afghanistan, Afghanistan was on the back burner at this time. We didn't care about Afghanistan because we had kicked Osama bin Laden out. We had kicked the Taliban out. Al-Qaeda, they're gone. They're out of there. Yeah, they're still around. That's why the war on terror still persisted. But we had control over Afghanistan. Therefore, we were like, we won. We, we fucking didn't. Anyone that was, anyone that's watching this that remembers from 2021, there's a reason why the Taliban control it now. 
Uh, and if you don't, uh, let me speak your language real quick. Goo goo gaga. Coco melon there. Leave. <laughs> but we we could have easily continued to win Afghanistan if we put our balls in. If we went full in to Afghanistan, we would have easily won the war. If we continued to side with the tribal factions within and pushed into, say, Pakistan, we would have won. But due to Pakistan's close... I don't know if Pak... Pakistan might not have good relations with Iran anymore. I'm not exactly sure on that one. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they did at the time, which meant that we couldn't technically go in or else Iran would piss itself and throw one of their shitty nukes at, say, Israel. But, you know, we went in, did our thing, a bunch of boys got killed, war profiteers saw bank, so they made money. Almost like most wars fought after Vietnam. Who would have thunk it? But the Russians had been scarred by the 2008 financial crisis. But they were in the midst of recovery. The Americans, it took us a few years to recover. It really did. I think around 2013 was when most people had fully recovered. Or were able to stand back up on their feet. But I don't really know much about 2008 onwards since well, frankly put, that's when I was born, and I don't really remember that much, nor do I really study up on 09 and 010. I don't really care about them, because the only notable thing that I can say is that the Second Chechen War ended, and a year later, the Third Chechen War started. That's about it. Uh, this video is much shorter. Uh, I may do... Another video while I'm still out here in the woods. But, yeah. Uh, subscribe. Do whatever. I don't really give a shit. Um, giggity, giggity, goo.